You are traveling through another dimension, one not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey bound only by imagination and budget constraints. Surrender the driver's seat of your mind and get ready to take the next exit, cruising down the off-ramp of sanity into the dusk sector. We'd like to introduce you to one Mr. Harold Becker, a door-to-door -door salesman with a peculiar and ironic impediment to his livelihood, that of being spontaneously teleported through time and space. A considerable inconvenience. Or, please meet Miss Cynthia Manwaring, an aspiring veterinarian who has discovered her own pet dog's telepathic ability. His francophonic telepathic ability. Je veux mademoiselle. Je veux surtout de qui moi. On y va, vite. I'm confused on two levels. Or, we would like to take you into the home of a Mr. Leonard Stewart, a man illogically cursed with two paranormal roommates, a giant saxophone-playing bunny, and that nefariously charismatic character, the devil himself. You want some milk? We would like to, but we forgot to have these people sign release forms. So instead, we shall observe one Dennis Watson, a patient person with an easygoing, if naive, nature. An unassuming young gentleman with no more capacity for brilliant or original thought than a pen cap for Lake Superior. Dumb as pie crust, but if you... Well, you get the idea. This morning, Dennis has simply alighted on the wrong side of the bed. The side apparently in the dusk sector. Entendu tout au fond de la nuit d'une petite rue. Like somebody got up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Having come abreast of the all too literal remedy for his surreal predicament, Dennis realizes that he must physically emerge from his place of rest on the customary side and thus put an end to these bizarre phenomena. Perhaps it's just one of those days. After all, anything can happen. Are you responsible for this? Yeah. Here in the twilight.
my son! <laughs>